I'm trying to convince myself to leave the house. Well, Stella and I are taking a walk for the first time around the neighborhood. She's been really eager to. Oh, there's a plane up there. I'd really like to get her a dog stroller because she kind of like is really eager at first and then she slows down and then I gotta pick her up and carry her. Come on, Stella. Come on. Oh, that's neat. They have like brick pavers for their driveway over there. I like that. I like whenever there's unique driveways. If you're ever in the villages, Florida, their big thing is that they paint their driveways with this coating. And it looks really good whenever they do it because you could do like murals in the middle of your driveway. It's, it's pretty cool. I like it. We had a great little walk around the block and I had a thought. So I'm going to go ahead and put together an Amazon wish list. Well, it's not really my thought. It was mentioned in the comments of a previous video of a different vlog that we had done, that I had done. So I'm going to link that down below, a little Amazon wish list of things, including a stroller for Stella. It's been a nice little morning walk. I like this. Okay, I just dropped Stella off inside. She was panting. She was ready for some water. One thing I want to do is actually mulch this. Looks like it hasn't been done in a long time. So get some maybe black mulch. I think that was what was there. As long as you replace it with what was there, it doesn't require any sort of ARC approval. So I think I'm going to do, well, either, oh, she's, I guess she wants to be out here with me. But I, yeah, you could do black mulch or dark brown. That would be nice there. But I've also had a lot of people mention getting a ring doorbell with the camera. The neighbors actually have one. So I think I'm going to look into that and have that installed. And um, it'll just be a little bit more peace of mind and everything. But yeah, this needs some mulch. And honestly, what I'd like to do is get some plantings put in. But those do need approval, the, the flowers. Yeah, it could use a little bit of softscaping, even though it does have the, the nice bushes. But um, yeah, I just want to cut those down, I think, just a smidgen. Those are pretty sturdy, sturdy bushes. But they need to be, they need to be really like a chainsaw or something. She's like a baby. Okay, Stella, I'm coming. Do you want some water? Do you want a drink? Let's get a drink. I have to remind her. Come on, Stella. Oh my goodness. Let's get a drink, Stella. Want, do you want a drink? There you go. Goodness gracious, she's like an Alzheimer's patient. My grandma had Alzheimer's and that's kind of what done her in. Well, that and the pneumonia. There you go, potato sack. Drink, drink, drink. Relax Coastal. Let me look at this one. So this is a just a nice lazy Sunday. I'd like to do this elder white or some sort of a white color for a lot of the rooms. There's also a pink that I want to do for, let me see, is it in this one? Mid-century? Yeah, that lotus flower is really nice for like one wall in the living room. What I think I'd really like to do is a nice pink for the majority of the wall and then where the TV is like a charcoal kind of like that mink color so just in the one recess where the TV is and that'll help the TV sort of recess color wise because it's not going to contrast with the wall so much so the black will kind of hide in the darker color and then I have my flamingos below that and they're pink so that'll kind of pop on the darker the darker tone Huh. Ooh, I like that. The clay. Cavern clay. I like that more so because it's not in your face pink like a bubble gum. I think that's the color. It's very earthy like a terracotta. That would be nice. Or maybe just a smidge more on the pinker tone. So yeah, that could be that could be really good. This and then like a charcoal for that one alcove. I'm trying to convince myself to leave the house. We know we went on the walk, but let's throw those pink things away over there. I'm kind of wanting 
to go get some lunch at some place. There's McAllister's, there's that chicken place that we ate at last time. That was really good. There are so many options. I was really thinking how great it would be to have a retro refrigerator in the kitchen, like the Big Chill brand. So let's make that happen. Let's get a vintage style refrigerator and maybe even a range, a stove. Here's what those rugs look like. I forgot to show it in the other vlog, but uh, yeah, of course they do make the longer rugs. I didn't think about that. I can always use these kind of wherever, but I do really like this one. I'm glad I got that one. And uh, this floor will be changed, so that's gonna look much better. And, and that vanity too. This here is actually the color that I've updated my flooring to be so they call that honey butter ash and that's still with ll flooring so a few of you actually mentioned how it seemed to be expensive the quote that i was given oh, i love that so much it's very mid-century it's very clean it's light it's not too yellow it's a very i think that's a very timeless like it's a really timeless color so i like that but uh, I don't really see where else I could go cheaper on the, the price. So, oh, I just love that sofa so much. And then my beautiful lamp next to it there. And this rug, it all just works so well. Even this floor kind of works nicely with it. But this, uh, this new floor is going to work too. And I showed you that I kind of pulled most of this out. But one thing I am considering is actually just like leaving this for now and not having the flooring changed in there. So that's the other thing. That new flooring I was just showing you, I was thinking, okay, well, I'll have it all in the, in the entire house, every room, every place. But then I was thinking, well, don't I want the bathrooms to be slightly different so that it's, you know, not exactly the same everywhere. And see, that's where I don't know. Because I have this idea that like a nice bathroom has like, a nice tile flooring and like a custom shower and it's like a whole like spa experience and not just the same floor not the same wood going through now the other bathroom that's over here between the two rooms that's okay i could see that being the same flooring everywhere else it's a smaller space but for the master or primary bathroom you would you know i would think it would need to be something else so there's that one so that that could be the same flooring that's gonna be in the, this all three of these rooms. All of that will be the same. All of that will be the same, no more tile there. And I do realize there is no hurry to get them done, only to the extent that like, my life is kind of on hold as far as like doing anything else here. Like why would I put pictures on the walls if I have to take them down and paint the walls and I can't paint the walls until the floors are in because then they're gonna get scuffed up, but I can paint the ceilings, but that's kind of boring. I'm not excited to paint the ceilings yet. So it's just like one thing must be done before the other thing, unless you're going to backtrack and try to fix things later, which I don't want to do. And the other thing is all these cabinets are on top of the tiles. So I'm thinking I want to actually do the opposite of that for future people. So this is not a problem anymore and put the cabinets down first and then have the floors run up to them rather than wall to wall flooring and then cabinets on top because it makes it very difficult to do anything. So basically what I have to do is have the cabinets, all the bottoms removed, and then all of the tile removed because they go under the cabinets and then put new cabinets down, then have the floors ran up to them. I just pulled up to McAllister's Deli and I had this back in Illinois too. I do like it. They have a really nice pick two deal where you get like a half of a sandwich and some soup. So we'll see what I get. I don't know, let's go inside. Oh, that looks so great. Oh my gosh, I got the chicken salad with like cranberries inside of it and this veggie chili. I've never had the veggie chili before, so I'm really excited for that. That was amazing. That soup was really good. The chili, I mean, that was really good chili. And the, uh, well, it's all gone. See, it was amazing. I liked it a lot. Yes, that was really good. So that was a great choice. McAllister's Deli. But now I'm gonna head into JCPenney's because I would really like to get some new shorts. I'm low on shorts. And if I could find a shirt, a t-shirt or something, okay. I mean, I'm up for it. We can we can see what happens inside the JCPenney. Trying to find the shorts. 
Are those them? Or are those swimming trunks? They look pretty colorful. No, those are swimming trunks. Are these short? Okay, I think these are shorts. This set, oh, I like that set. That's like kind of gray. Oh, that's loud. This blue, this like green. Oh, these are like cargo shorts. I'm not really the jungle type. So I don't really go through jungles and need to have all them pockets. Oh, those are like white. That wouldn't last very long. Hmm. Oh, there's tiny little fish on these. $70. <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay. They're on sale for 49, which is still a lot. I'm not that type of person to do that. I'm the wrong demographic. I'm more of the $20 shorts kind of a person. Maybe 25 on a really good day. How much are these? So these are those jungly ones again. They're probably, well, those are 40. Eh. These are $36. Small, medium. What size are they? I'm, what size is small? Uh, what size is medium? I guess you have to try them on to know. Those are like a charcoal color and they've got this khaki. But those have those darn button things again. We'll try these. That's the big and tall section. Oh wait, there's a clearance over here. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be looking for, clearance. But there's kind of a reason why it's on clearance. Like who, like, what is this? These are like pants. I'm not into that. Hey, there's those ones with the fish. 30, oh, that's the size, like $38. $60, they're on, so apparently these are $33, but that's a size 30, that's a little too small. Mm -hmm. Secu security pocket, these are $21. Will these fit? No, that's a 38. Darn it. I keep getting drawn to the swimming trunks, which are not at all appropriate. $10. $18 for the Easy Care pants. And the shorts are double. These have more fabric. I don't understand logic these days sometimes with people. Are Maybe the... No, that's also a pant. Okay, well, I don't think they have a fitting room that's even open. I walked over to the one corner and it says fitting room is closed. So... I don't know. These are kind of expensive anyway. I don't think JCPenney's is where it's at. I did find a fitting room. It's over in the, this area, I guess, women's. But, eh, I don't really want those, so I'm not gonna get the shorts from here. But let's see what else there is in the other parts of this mall. Pretty nice mall. They've got lots of different stores. Oh, they're giving massages. Oh my gosh, I need that right now. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but I just finished that. That was amazing very nice it was like 40 bucks i gave her a five dollar tip so 35 plus five well it's funny i went in there to get shorts i didn't get shorts and i got a massage instead you know it was really good i haven't had a massage in a while it's kind of overcast right now i'm thinking about going to Publix because i could use some random groceries so yeah i think we should go to grocery <laughs> So I think we should go to Publix. Let's go do that. Tropical mango, lemon and strawberry. Lindy's homemade. That looks good too. Lemon, what is that now? Blue raspberry, ooh, I'm doing that one. Blue raspberry and cherry. Cherry, yes, cherry. That looks so good. Oh, I don't, I tr you know, I honestly, I try to stay away from the ice cream if I can help it because I get choked up by it but oh the Mickey bars you ever go to Disney they have the those Mickey uh, ice cream bars and ice cream sandwiches and things so good they're not as good if you don't go to the park you have to go to the park for the better ones because if you get them at the store they're just not as good the Mickey chocolate bars mm. have this non dairy stuff I'm gonna try it I've got strawberry and peanut butter chocolate chip, and then there's chocolate cocoa chip. Peanut buttery choco chip. So it's non-dairy. Made with almonds and coconut oil. Oh, that's neat. We're gonna try that too. Okay. This is really a frivolous shopping experience. I don't think I'm getting anything that's actually substantial. Hands down. 
I bet she has to go outside. Oh my goodness gracious. I need to try to do massages more because they really do help me. And I've been to many of them. Uh, it's just always, the problem with that is you gotta schedule them a lot of times. And it's like when you really need it, you need it then. I've never had this before. Oh my gosh, it looks like legit cookie dough. That is amazing. They were also selling Girl Scout cookies at the mall. I resisted. I did. I resisted those. This looks like it might be really good. Now I'm going to have to watch it because sometimes whenever I go with the scoop, the thing goes flinging out across the room. So you got to be very careful so you don't fling your ice cream round and round. Swing your ice cream round and round. That looks pretty good. Looks like cookie dough. You know what? That is really good. I would never know that that's not ice cream. It's creamy. It's good. Doesn't taste like coconut. Wonderful. I like that one a lot. It was basically like eating cookie dough, like melted cookie dough. A plus, they get a gold star. Well, it is now much later in the day and to catch you up to speed, I just got done editing two videos that will go up tomorrow. Uh, that would be one on the main channel, one on the personal vlog channel, this channel. And then now I'm actually gonna go in and do a little bit of shipping. I did have many people buy rolls of tape. So, I mean, there's that to ship. And then there's also, I could get a head start on the things that need to go out from my last live sale. But I'm really not feeling that right now. I'm barely feeling like doing the other shipping, but... I know it's easy. It's just like you, I forgot my computer. It's easy. It's just, you just got to do it. Just do it. When I got home, I took a long break. I was laying on the massager because that lady, you know, the lady in the mall, she kind of reminded me, I'm like, you know what? I've got these massaging devices. Let's use them. So I was laying out on the porch there with the massager. So for a while I was using the back massager. It's like a full back massager and you could like do spot treatments and be like, stay there. So I did that for a bit. And then I used the shoulder like thing and that's a different apparatus, but it's like needs like that. And you can be like, stay here. And you just pull down on it. Oh, feels amazing. Well, I got done doing the shipping and then I started putting things away that needed to get put away on the shelf there. Like, you know, stuff I bought now I'm going to go sit down. I'll finish editing in the morning. I'll get the title and thumbnail and everything done in the morning. I think I've had enough tonight as far as that's concerned. Well, I might put something on and then wash the dishes. That could be good. Put those dishes away. That sounds like a plan. So I guess I'll go ahead and wrap up this video now. So thanks for watching. And I never did get those back up on the ceiling because I never painted the ceiling yet. I just haven't felt inclined to do it. But one of these days I'll paint it. Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.